Yo, yo, what it do, people? This your boy J Rock, Eastside Johnny, and this thing, man. And right now, you watching Move Radio. The devil thought he had me, I was on back burners. Moon walking fast, y'all respect my journey. Evil tapping in like the feds is watching. No album, no dope, I was all out of options. I'd rather rob than get a job. Ah, uh, man, I had to choose the name this album Redemption. Uh, I was going through a lot at the time uh, in my career. Uh, for those who don't know, like, you know, a few years ago, I got into a, a real bad motorcycle accident. And uh, it was kind of like after I had dropped 90059, I had a lot of things lined up. I was even supposed to come here, you know what I mean? I had tours, I had shows, I had a lot of things coming up. And uh, I felt like I was on top of the world. I felt like I was here. I was like, man, I made, you know, I'm on. I'm, I'm, I'm just happy about everything. And then, you know, and then that just happened. Like, you know, I, was, I went to a, like a minor setback. So, you know, I was in the hospital, just, you know, healing up and, you know, I was just going through a lot of depression. I, you know, I was just confused. I was like, man, what's, why this happening to me, you know? But I just got so much support from my family, you know, friends, my team, and everybody was just rooting for me, you know what I mean? They just put me in a, in a cold little mind state, like, you know what, I can't give up. You know, I gotta just keep going hard. And I felt like this could be my redemption, you know, just to come back bigger and better than ever and just show anybody in the world that no matter what you're going through or, Whatever setback you're going through, just you know, dust your shoulders off. You know what I mean? As long as you got another day to wake up, you got a new opportunity to get it. You know what I mean? Free shooter rate from the fire line. We gon' get money or die trying. J Rock and I'm back, bitch. Watch out, bro, you're back, bitch. When I was laid up, you know, I'm like, man, who, who, what did I do wrong in my past life, or, or who did, or who did I hurt? You know what I mean? Uh, you know, those thoughts always go through my head. You know, you, sometimes you got to be aware of that. You know. And you know, I just, you know, I just, you know, I prayed on it. You know, I was like, man, you know what, whatever I did, I'm, you know, whoever, whoever I did to, you know, is my bad, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we all humans, you know what I mean? We ain't nobody perfect, you know what I mean? So it's all about just just, just getting better with time, you know? Like I'm running out of time. Uh, Ashley, you know, me and J. Cole, we go way back. You know, that's my boy. Uh, he was on the freshman cover a few years ago on the double XL cover. And, uh, you know, we always run into each other and we always speak. You know, he always tells me all the time, man, we overdo be, do a record. You know what I mean? When the time is right, we gonna, you know, we gonna work. So just one day we was just, I was in the, we was in the same studio. We crossed paths again, you know, he's walking and, you know, I'm like, what's up? He's like, what's up? We exchanged numbers. He was like, man, whenever you ready, man, let's, let's work, you know? And then I sent him my other side out of mine. And when I sent him that, he was like, oh, this is the one. And then like a week or two later, he sent this verse and that's how it happened. J. Cole, he's a, he's a cold writer, man. He's a, he brilliant, man. Like, he's super talented, man. I didn't think of no other person, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was in, in the studio with Kendrick. We was uh, recording, doing records for the uh, Black Panther soundtrack. Uh, Kendrick played the beat. You know, I coming in, I was like, oh, this is hard. You know, we, you know, every time me and Kendrick get together and do records, we just, you know, we knock them off. So uh, I did, I did the song, and then, uh, and then next thing you know, you know, Future jumped on it, and then it's thing. You know what I mean, man? Big shots out to Future. I tell him he got the best verse on the song. <laughs> yeah, <You know what laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, that's why he laughing. Look. <laughs> Actually, it was kind of like, you know, it's just the beat selections, you know what I mean? It was a lot of, you know, different little beats. I was working with a, a few new producers, you know what I mean? Shout out to my boy, you know, King. You know what I mean? He's a young dude. He's like 17 years old. Uh, you know, uh, got it in with my boy Cardo. You feel me? And I always had my, my, my original team, you know, Soundway, you know what I mean? Uh, Tay Beast. Just working with a lot of new producers and stuff, uh, uh, like like Mike Will. You feel me? Uh, uh, who else uh, that's on that thing? Uh, Boy Wonder. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, it was just a lot, lot of new production on there. And it was, you know, just giving it a new sound. And, and just was going in, just, you know, just, just just knocking them out, you know? Get out the way, get out the way, get out the way, yeah. yeah. Get out the way, get the fuck up on my way, yeah. yeah. You either with me or against me, ho. You either with me or... Wait. This was like one of the last records, too, that I recorded. I just, I felt like I was in the winning spirit. 
you know, I was listening to all the records, everything was said and done, and, uh, and I was just in a winning spirit when I made this. I'm like, you know what, man, I just gotta win with this, you know what I mean? I was just inspired, and you know, I was like, man, this, this, this I think this is the one. And just even when I first heard the track, just with the horns and everything, just found it, just sound like I'm at the playoffs, you know what I mean? It's t 10 seconds left, and you guys just gotta go in, you know what I mean? You gotta win, <laughs> you know what I mean? My biggest win, I gotta say, just over here, <laughs> overseas, you know what I mean? This is, this, is one, this is one of the biggest wins right here, you know, this I always dreamed of coming over here and, you know, just meet new people and, get, and be able to see another country, you know? Uh, I, I think this is one of the biggest wins right here, too, you know what I mean? I got the drink, I got the smoke and rotation. Head on a swivel rotation. I got the back door swinging rotation. If it's ball, double back and rotation. Man, watch this. It's it's a, you know it's a, it's a neighborhood, man. You know, lower class, lower lower class. You know, I grew up in the projects. You know, lower development housing. Uh, you know, it's it's not too many good resources. You know, you just gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I mean? Rather, you know, you, it's 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 only like two, three ways you can make it out just by playing ball, you know what I mean, or, or getting an education. And half the time, you know, it's kind of hard to get an education because you're surrounded by so much negativity. And you know what I mean, just it's just your surroundings, you know what I mean? And, but you just, you just gotta have a strong mind sometimes, you know, you just, sometimes you gotta just think, you know what I mean? And when you see certain situations, you be like, man, there's only two ways I can go out, either dead or in jail, you know what I mean? And, and you know, people just gotta have that mindset, like, man, I'm, I just wanna live, you know, I just, I just gotta make it, you know what I mean? As long as you have that mindset, you know what I mean, that I'm gonna make it, and you know, I'm, I'm gonna make it out, it's gonna happen, because you're speaking into existence, it's like laws of attraction, you know what I mean? But, uh, but for, for the most part, that Watson and, and, and where I come from, it, it taught me a lot, you know? It, it should make me the man who I am today, you know what I mean? Flip, I'm a vet, I'm a rep, I'm a boss, I'm a flex, I'm a turn up for the set, take this bottle to the neck. Everybody's trying to do something positive, whether they trying to do music, you know, and that, that's that's me, man. I want, you know, it's kind of like I'm like that outlet now, like a lot of a lot of, a lot of my homeboys and a lot of my, you know, family and friends, they, they see me as motivation. They like, man, you motivating us, you motivating us. Just for me, coming from where I come from, just even be over here, they like, wow. No, one of us made it, you know what I mean? One of us see, man, he's overseas, he's in Paris, you know what I mean? And it's, I love giving that motivation, man. You know, I, I want to be an inspiration to somebody to be able, you know, to turn a negative into a positive, let them know that, you know, it's, it's possible you can do it. Don't let nobody tell you you can't, you know what I mean? Solo, take a photo, blowing dodo in a dojo. We a green light, you a no-go, AQ go, no rock go. I'm a rock though, like a rock though, and my eyes low, when I drop slow, like Paul Wall. Give it back though, I got y'all. No, fuck that. I was the first person signed with Top Dog, you know, uh, uh, big shots out to the big dog, Top Dog, you know, uh, me and him come from the same neighborhood, you know, uh, you know, fortunately he was able to make it out, you know, he started a record label, and you know, I was one of the first, first, first dudes from, from the neighborhood that he signed, you know what I mean, uh, and, and that's how that happened, man, it started, started, started with nothing, man, and made something. Dot, I always knew Dot, you know what I mean? He was always in Compton, you feel me? I always, you know, always heard about Dot, and it was just kind of ironic. We met up in the same studio together. Uh, but uh, when, when, when I first met Dot, it, I was just just shocked the way that, you know, we, when we did our first record, he didn't write nothing down. You know what I mean? I was struggling for like 30, 40 minutes to write one, two, three lines, and it only took him like 10 minutes to, to write a whole song, a whole verse. And he didn't write nothing down. He just went in off his head, and I was—I thought that was like special. I, like right then and there, I knew he was some—he was some dope. You know what I'm saying? And uh, same thing with Al Soul. When I first met Al Soul, you know, he—he's like one of the lyrical genius. You know, what I mean, I call him the jukebox. You feel me? Because like he could do any type of melody. You know what I mean? Anything, anything you could say. You know, I mean, hey, sound like this. He could sound like. You know what I mean? So uh, man, big shouts out to Al Solo. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, and when I met Q, you know, Q, when he came around, he wasn't really rapping. He was just that dude just chilling. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was just right there in the, in the back, just, you know, quiet, soaking up game. And then, you know, and when it was his turn, he just came out the gate swinging, man, you know? And that, that's dope about him, you know what I mean? He, he got a cold story, and, you know, he come from the struggle, too, just like me. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's you know, he, he's something special, too, you know what I mean? <laughs> Uh, you know, that's them my brothers, man. You know, we like I say, uh, I, you know, I, I tell people all the time, it's like when you get when you when you put, you know what I mean, these puppies in the kennel together, you know what I mean, 
uh, as babies, you know, they all, they bond together in this kennel, you know what I mean? You let them out, it's like they inseparable, you get what I'm saying? You know, no matter which way they go, you know what I mean? But they always know where home at, you know what I mean? And they inseparable, you feel me? And it's like, you know, that's that's us, man. That's them, my bros, man, you know, we we go hard, you know what I mean? Whenever we get together in that studio, you know what I mean? Load it off the yak, hit up from the back, go across her head. Bar stool, touch her soul, till I curl her toes, then it's time to reload, then it's... Part two. The Big Redemption Tour starts in the States in September, and uh, uh, I think uh, next year in February, man, be on the lookout. I'll be back. Um, I'll be back out here in France, so make sure you get your tickets now. <laughs> tu es connecté sur Move.